What's up guys, Sadam Mintazir, and today I'll be showing you my personal networking setup. And this is my tour guide of my network equipment. So, here we have a billion 8800 NL. This is a VDSL and ADSL router. This is my billion 7800N. This is obviously just an ADSL router. And this is my TP-Link TLR 470T plus. This is just a load balancer. It's actually a router as well. It actually converts all the signals into a router. And yeah, so what we have, we have the connections here. I the space through there, don't see that. So we've got it coming out on the uh, the GigaNet port, straight into the low bounds so over here. And then we've got this one coming off the other gigabit port. This is a fully gigabit router, and this ain't. This is come off and converting straight in. Right. The good thing about the low bounds is they convert your signals, etc., and usually do get good speeds. But they can all be affected by like band, but for whatever. Like, you know, a lot of data management and stuff like that. One thing I would advise is to buy the best of our quality cables. This is a Cat 6E cable. That's been, you know, put in properly. They've all been put in properly anyway. But whenever you do wiring, like, and you know, if you don't want it messy, then try and rid it up properly and stuff. And obviously, this is my computer room, or my store room, put all my stuff in. But yeah, you've uh, that's basically it. With cable management, etc., you don't have to go really crazy and start using like crazy ass uh, millions of pounds of <laughs> equipment just to tie stuff up. It's just a, a cheap setup, you know. Well, it's not a very cheap setup because these routers are quite expensive. This is a sixty pound router. This is like a two hundred pound router. Low balance, like forty pound. So yeah, it's, it's a bit of money put into it. These are uh, cables. The Cat six cables for the VDSL can actually be pretty expensive. They're about, I think I paid like seven pound for this one cable, and then another seven pound for another cable. But the ten meter one is like about fifteen pound a cable. With these standard UTP Cat six, uh, Cat four and Cat five cables, they're more nothing. They're about twenty pence or more. Well, the Cat five E actually, as you can see, it's Cat five E. Right. Always try and use stranded or UTP. Um, for close range, or just use full cop core like this one is here. It's full cop core shielded extra, so you can't even bend it much. With this, you can actually just bend it quite easy because it's not shielded at all. That's why you always want to keep your high magnetic wires, which are your AC and DC current 240 volts, away from these cables. Always do your cables for UTP above the power source. That's just my preference, but it's always been that way. If you can and you've got access, try and run a loop like this. This will obviously demagnetize the loop, so then you haven't got no um, cross talk or whatever. With stranded a flat cable, you just want to bundle it, but make sure you don't always tighten these up. Like if you see, I can move mine around stuff like that. Like don't bundle it too tight. So yeah, this is only a hundred meg wire. These are only 100 meg wires. They can support a, a, a gigabit anyway, but you know, I don't really want to support that. Either. These ones are these are 10 gigabit cables for VDSL. <laughs> Bit overkill, I'd say. Um, I've got two OpenReach Mark. Well, well, one OpenReach Mark Two VDSL socket, and I've got another OpenReach Mark Three VDSL socket. One's for Talk Talk. One's for E. This one is for my. Um, well, this would be for my E. This would be for my Talk Talk because Talk Talk uses the open band uh, VPI and VCI, so just all my just connected without a password. So it's like BT, you just plug it straight in, and it'll work. But with E and Sky, you have to enter all your details in, etc. Right for the Wi-Fi signal on this, this is actually a better contender than this. I mean, this might have a five gigahertz band. I'm pretty sure it does because we used a 5 gigahertz on this anyway. Might have a 5 gigahertz band, but it's you no, know, got to move around antennas, you can actually you know, cross talk them and make them long distance. But what I was going to do is, the minute I'm going to turn this, I'm going to redecorate this room and I'm going to make a fiber splice point or an ONT in here. You know, my other stuff, my other servers and stuff. 
and I'm going to make my entire house fibre proof so then it's basically just easy updated because I don't like using traditional copper cable because they are no they don't they're not resilient against corrosion damage and wear and all that stuff so yeah, if you want to know more about internet technology and all this stuff just ask about more I would recommend if you've got two lines like I do then buy one of these low balances you convert both lines into using just all your speed I mean I can have 31 meg off this one box where this one actually carries 17 meg and this one carries about 18.5 Whereas in my area, my area says I can only carry 40 meg max. <laughs> These are SNR compatible routers, so if you change the SNR model, uh, modulation, when we're at 0 0.5 and then we're at 0 0.2 on this one. Pretty hard, but is when you get used to it, it's pretty easy. So yeah, always keep your wiring tidy. I know a lot of you are going to try and complain now, well, it's not tidy, but yeah, this is actually, this is actually clean all that stuff. This is always, you know, you see, it's not actually dust in there, it's just because it's got a shiny surface. No dust. This router is always going to be kept cool. These are notorious for burning up. As you can see, it's looking cool. These have an E1 port, and these have an E1 port. It's just basically so you can use fibre and stuff to connect straight into them. As you can see, you got the uh, tape still on mine. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you need any more information on my networking setup or if you like to build your own networking setup, please leave a comment below and I will gladly get back to you and help you out. Thank you guys and try to make that out.